the most hated cartoons of all time. Do y'all have any like cartoons you actually hate? I can't think of any off the top of my head. I can't, I really can't think of any off the top of my head. Maybe, who the f just said Nav? Yo, this Nav slander is crazy. We're talking about cartoons. Caillou, oh my God. Okay, Caillou. That actually, that actually makes sense. I, I don't know why, I don't know how I completely forgot about Caillou. That makes the most sense. Apple and onion, bro. I gotta see what Apple and Onion actually is. Like, the fact that I went to their website, and I've never even heard of Apple and Onion. All right, Diamond Bolt. How am I not subbed? I'm gonna sub to you, man. You drop good content. Talk to me. Let's see what's up with this video. This video is brought to you by War Thunder. Guys, it's brought to you by Tommy NFG. Subscribe. Today, we're gonna be talking about some very serious business, okay? Mm. Cartoons made for children. Now, just to preface, this video isn't going to be about like the worst cartoons ever made or anything like that, because I already made a video about the Annoying Orange Show. I wanted to have a look at some of the most- Did anybody here watch the Annoying Show, like anno Annoying Orange Show growing up on Cartoon Network? <laughs> How the f was that? I I they were just making anything like a cartoon on Cartoon Network. Like they were just throwing anything. And the whole chat is saying no. Yes, it was peak. I think that's like the low. I think Cuties has like a higher rating. We checked. Cuties has like a higher rating than the Annoying Orange Show on Cartoon Network. It's, it's nuts, man. It's absolutely nuts. I'm not gonna lie though. Annoying Orange on YouTube was peak. It was definitely a time on the internet. I will say that. It was definitely a time. Like, it's peak because you're looking back at it as like nostalgic. But in reality, bro, that was so cringy. Like, if I was a full grown adult back then growing up, I would have dead ass. Been like, been like, this is not funny at all. Most hated cartoons ever made. And dude, I have watched so Give me many toilet of our generation. That's true. Make That's true. And you have no idea how much I wish I could get that time back. Teen Titans go to the movie. No more. Gotcha, X Teen Titans go. This is this is like the worst two pieces of media that could ever collab. This is disgusting. Or like toddler Titans. No. To the military school. This is also not me saying that any of these shows are bad, by the way. That's kind of what I want to talk about. Um, mm. I'm just going by the opinions of thousands and thousands of angry YouTube comments. Because to be real with you, I hadn't actually seen a lot of these shows before making this. Ew, Big Mouth. Oh, I just for I forgot about that. Why am I seeing teenage boy abs right there? Yo, Big Mouth is actually so weird. How is Big Mouth still Aaron? Okay, I'm gonna let the video play. Uh, so I'm gonna be coming at you from the perspective of a guy who like never had cable, you know? All right, sir. You look Obviously, like a big mouth character. No that's not funny. Than Teen Titans Go. Teen Titans Go sucks. Honestly, y'all. Okay, I, I was definitely on the super hate train for Teen Titans Go when it first came out, and I still am. Teen Titans, the original is superior. Will always be superior. I don't care what these new fucking kids ever say. But it has some funny jokes, honestly. Like later on in the seasons, like I've seen some funny, I'll see like some funny cutaways and stuff, and I'm like, okay, but I'm not gonna sit there and watch a full episode. I'm gonna be honest. I'm not sitting there and watching a full episode of the Teen Times Go ever. Good memes came out of it. Yeah, it has some funny. You know, you know what they say. Like rare gems could come out of like anything, right? There's always a broken clock is always right. Uh, what do they say? Like twice a day or something. Twice a day. I can say they they improved. They definitely improved. But yeah, that's just for the most part still pretty good. It's the worst show ever. And the characters are so fucking retarded. And I'm gonna say the same thing that every <laughs> single person who's complained about this show in the last decade has said, like a f***ing hive mind, that the original Teen Titans is one of the best cartoons ever made and Facts. was cancelled way before its time. Facts! And I miss you every day, you sweet, beautiful child. That's how it ends? And there is no sixth season to resolve the plots hanging from the cliff? You ended that show? And after a full seven years of looking up whether Cartoon Network changed their minds about season six yet, to wake up one day and find out that Teen Titans was finally coming back, but it looked like this. They glazed in the original? See, just say you didn't grow up with it. Just say you didn't grow up with it. Say you grew up with the iPad in your hand, because I promise you they're not glazing it enough. It literally taught, bro, it taught me shit that I never knew about as a kid. That's the thing. It was my first heartbreak, bro. Seeing Beast Boy and uh, Tara, that was her name, right? Them, like, uh, her, them not being able to be together due to dad and all this shit. And, bro, the last episode literally made me cry. Like, it actually made me cry as a kid. I mean, yeah, I was 16 once, too. Tommy okay? I'm not gonna act a like fucking I was demon. better than any of those people. I spent every waking moment of my day pissed off about this show. I mean, anyone that's been watching this channel for a while would know that. I'm. We don't have to talk about it. <laughs> the mm. terrible Powerpuff Girls reboot. Tar racism? Oh, my God. You can see me looking at the script for... 
say the reason the Teen Titans Go got made was because Cartoon Network used to have this DC block in 2011 that had mm. these uh, Teen Titans shorts that had Ugh. a much simpler art style and was nothing. Bro, by the way, let me go back. Yo, anytime a Teen Titans shorts that had a much anytime a cartoon makes like a baby remix, is it not the one of the worst shows ever? Like you ever watched? Why do they do that? Why do cartoons and shows be making like baby remixes? Like who's the audience for a lot of baby remixes? Especially in the total drama shit. That shit is garbage. Who I I'm genuinely confused. Who is the audience for it? I can't think of a single show or car especially cartoon where when they make a baby remix, like people are like, oh yeah, we're so happy. Oh my god. They youngified the characters to babies. It's it's goofy. It's goofy. <laughs> It's good. It's it's never it's never funny. I never watch it. Baby Looney Tunes was good. I never watched that. Okay, but it's like 99% of the time the shit is gonna be trash. Okay, 99% of the time. Maybe there's like one or two that are good. I don't know. Simpler art style and was nothing but the Titans around for five minutes. That all got super high ratings because Teen Titans fans would have watched literally anything that looked like the original series. So that obviously mm. gave them an idea that while the original show wasn't viable anymore for whatever bullshit reason Cartoon Network gave, I think it was like either it didn't have enough ratings or it was something about the merchandising rights. Anyway, the fact is that Teen Titans Go was like a billion times more successful than the original ever was. We have a fan? Are you sure? I thought everyone considered us an abomination. They do! Everybody hates us! Everyone except Wally Walls right here! A Teen Titans Go fan, huh? I don't buy it. Like, Teen Titans was a big- See, that's kind of funny, though. Like, them playing into- Like, stuff like that with Teen Titans Go, it's like, it's funny, because the, the writers know about, like, probably the comics and people making fun of it. Like, they know, like, they're shitting on the, their own show as, like, a joke. Big hit, sure, but I don't think it ever got to the point where Cartoon Network edit 300 times in one week. This is sick. This is the same thing they do with Spongebob, by the way. Crazy ass schedule. Uh, cable TV is just so dead, bro. <laughs> cable TV is just so dead. <laughs> which, which actually happened, by the way. That was OKKO's OK premiere week, where they played like four episodes of it a day and 70,000 episodes of Teen Titans Go. Oh my god, it just keeps going down! For some reason. When I first met you, I thought you were weird. Underrated as hell. I've never seen that. I can't say anything about KO. And? And you are. Wah. The backlash to Teen Titans Go with your usual angry rant videos and petitions and death threats was so massive that it didn't take very long for the show to start making fun of the people shitting on it. We don't just do dookie jokes. Yeah, we do two jokes too, yo! Like, I didn't even think it made it to like the second season before they had like this episode where they have the guys from Young Justice show up and get mad at them for not taking anything seriously, which definitely has no hidden meaning whatsoever. You and your team have brought nothing but shame to all real superheroes. The Teen Titans are a disgrace. But I think nowadays that Teen Titans Go has been airing for like twice the amount of time the OG show did. It feels Teen Titans Go has been out for 11 years. Yo, time actually isn't real. I, I would have thought this shit came out in like 2015. I didn't remember it coming out in 2013. And bro, even there, when I was like nine or 10, I knew it was ass too. That's the funny thing. I was probably like, no, I, okay. I was definitely 10 right there. I knew that shit was ass. I knew the original was, was better. Feels like people are kind of coming around to it and realizing that it's not actually that bad. I mean, it only took 10 years. And I think as I've gotten older and my sense of humor <laughs> has show evolved, I think I enjoy it way more now than when I was a kid, which definitely says something about how shit my sense of humor has become. I, I remember- Why is it just a bunch of ass? Where, like, meet the crew that I've seen him show Robin's ass at least like, at least like five or 10 times. Makes the show and they go to like their office and it's like this dingy, disgusting building where all of the animators are like chained down. And you know what? I'll admit, I laughed, okay? What are you gonna do about it? What could be better than making ice? And spending time with my kids. Back to complaining about children's cartoons. The only other show I can think of that's been this blatant with clapping back at the internet is the Patrick Star Show's Nostalgia Critic episode. Where they basically- They did that? I've never watched a single episode of the Patrick Star Show. Did anybody watch it? I don't even care, bro. Teen Titans could do it. Teen Titans Go could do it because at least some people at least have seen it and watched and has more emotion. Nobody's watching the f***ing Patrick Star Show. Who actually even watched I haven't seen a single episode. And I'm gonna keep it that way, okay? It's just the fact that they're even doing the show without, like, Steven Hillenburg there at all to approve it. Like, the way they just approve it, it's just like, oh my god, bro. I did it, got boring. I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised. It should have only been Spongebob and, and left at that. And Spongebob is still getting milked, by the way, to this day. We spent an entire episode just making fun of internet reviewers. Today's been really nice. Yeah. Look at this. Fire. Underwater. You can't do that in real life. I hope someone gets fired for this. That's not even funny. 
used to be yeah. SpongeBob doesn't. Like it was funny when the Teen Titans Go writers were like making fun of uh whatever, like saying like nobody's a Teen Titans Go fan as like a joke, cause like you know what I'm saying that, that just wasn't funny. You People tell me that's you, guys. Is that me? No, I'm just like Bubble Bass, I guess. Mad at that one because there was this whole story going around that like SpongeBob creator Steven Hillenburg was super against any spin-offs being made, but then the second he died, Nickelodeon just started pumping him out in the classiest way possible. Or at least that's what people were saying without realizing that he was actually still alive when they were making it, so oops. Oh shoot, I thought I I did ass thought he didn't approve it. I don't know though. All I know is that like he wanted to end he wanted to end SpongeBob after the SpongeBob movie. That was for sure. Anytime I see stuff like this, I just picture like the five-year-olds that these shows are made for watching it and being like, what the fuck am I looking at? <laughs> Teen Titans Go making unlimited money gave Cartoon Network the idea to try and replicate the formula with basically any old cartoon they had lying around. And even if nothing has been- They rebooted the Powerpuff Girls? Replicate the formula with basically any old cartoon they had- What the fuck is this? <laughs> nah, I'm not gonna lie, bro. They had to get their diversity quota in. <laughs> Bliss? Is she cool? Let me stop. Let me stop. Maybe I'm just being mean. Head lying Only around. Teen Titans Go can get away with it. Would come close. My God. Unironically, I think I have to say they had the best. Like, I'm trying to. I, okay, I want to say. Let me say Cartoon Network reboot and like all of our childhood networks, like Nickelodeon. Teen Titans Go might have had the best one. I can't really like. I'm genuinely saying I can't really think. Ben 10 reboot is it good? Not as bad as other reboots. I'm trying to think because like I don't. I don't remember people talking about the. You know what I'm saying the Powerpuff Girls one. Oh, everybody said no. Oh my God, the whole chat said, damn, that's bad. Oh my God. <laughs> it's all right. It peaked at Omniverse. Yeah, for sure, for sure. They still piss people off. Like the Powerpuff Girls reboot, which is also like so fine when they're not twerking. I, I still don't, I don't know why they made them do that. Thundercats roll was- Bro, what's up with all the twerking? Dude, aren't they three years old? What the hell is this? Why is there so much twerking in shows now? Who is watching this? Who is finding this funny? <laughs> four, four, five? Nah, bro, hold up. They are dead ass fing like children, like four years old. One, two, and oh my god, were people so mad about this one? Never in my life have I seen anything on YouTube with more thumbs down. In this new Thundercats 30,000. No, this show was really in like the exact same situation as Teen Titans, where when it was first announced, people were like, oh, why don't you just make like a really good action cartoon with good animation and actual story? Uh, because they did, and nobody watched it. Thundercats, I definitely get that. I, I never watched Thundercats. Because it's a pretty random choice for a comedy show, and it's aimed at an even younger audience than Teen Titans Go, so I really doubt the 70 year old fans of the original are going to enjoy something that looks like a Tumblr webcomic. Is that old? Damn, did anybody here watch Thundercats? Like the old one? Never did. 1990s kids? Oh, shit. Okay, so. Yeah, I didn't watch that. It's made for kids, and this is what kids like now, you know? Just like how in the 80s, every kid wanted to watch big, muscly dudes in shows that had more animation errors than actual frames. But the Teen Titans Go crossover with this show is one of the funniest things I've ever seen because they turn the Titans into, like, those old boomer fans, and they are so right about how people act with this kind of show. They took one of the greatest action cartoons of all time and turned it into a comedy? I am outraged! Why's their mouth shaped like beans? And they have a whole point that, like, like Starfire mm. is the only one that hasn't seen the original show and she just thinks it's like really cute. She's literally me for real. I believe you I actually all haven't seen it either. As wonderful as I do. That probably would be me. Yeah. I've seen it all. I did, but mostly the one from the 2010s. It reminds me of like Ninja Turtles fans who really hate Rise of the TMNT because they had the audacity to make What the hell is this? What the hell is this? I've never seen this. How many Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles reboots has there been? Hold up. Damn, bro. One, two, three, four, five. I think I probably watched the old. I didn't really watch it like that, but I probably watched this one. I don't know if I watched this one. Maybe. Oh, yeah. This is the classic version. This one. Yeah, this is the one I was watching as a kid. I watched some of this. I never was really into teenage, like, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles like that, like a lot. Y'all know what was fire, though? The movies. I don't care about oh, the movies clear everything. The movies clear any of the shows. When I saw Megan Fox for the first time on screen as a kid, I, I finally knew like what it, what it was like to be a man. Make the turtles not look exactly the f 
same as they have for the last 20 years, even though that show mm. is awesome. Like, you're always going to piss off a lot of people as soon as you try and do anything different with a property that, that people is true. really like. Because sometimes it feels like all people want is just for it to always be exactly the same and never be different ever. Not like Sonic, though. That was, that was different. And okay. also, people also complain, like, oh my god, it's just the same and, like... So it's like kind of a mix. It's kind of a double-edged sword. You either change it, people complain, you don't, and people are like, oh, it's the same old boring thing, so. Okay. Velma, I guess, is another example, too. Oh, but I think hell. that one's a little... Oh, hell no, nah, bro. Now, the fact that so many people hate-watched it, that it got a reboot or second season... Are they still doing the second season for this shit? I hope not, because I'm pretty sure they, they might still be, actually. Yes. Yo, y'all need to stop hate-watching stuff. You want to watch it? I want to say the way you should watch it, but I'm not going to say it, okay? I'm not gonna say. Who's watching this? Like, you go on a streaming service, buy HBO Max. Because you had to get a subscription to HBO Max. Like, there's no way you, out of all streaming services, subscriptions, you buy HBO Max. Let's be serious. You're buying Netflix, Disney Plus, something like that. You had to go out your way to buy the subscription just to hate on the show. No, act smarter. Be smarter. Come on. Like, when hate watching leads to stuff like this, it's sad to see. I think it's the same thing with Big Mouth, because Big Mouth is always getting reboots, like, all the time. Different. I mean, it makes the top of everyone's worst cartoons list. Like, if you find any post from last year about bad cartoons, Velma absolutely clears. Because a cool-ass boss Shut bitch up. like myself deserves to be. Uh, <laughs> I think what pissed people off about Velma is that it basically the only hell? takes the names and, like, basic character designs from Scooby-Doo and slaps them on a show that otherwise has nothing to do with it. Where Velma and Daphne sell drugs and Shaggy fights a guy with a samurai sword, but we can't have the talking dog in there because that would be ridiculous. And yeah, I think we can all agree this show yeah, is- Yeah, why do they never- You can't have a Scooby-Doo spinoff without Scooby-Doo. That doesn't even make any sense. Like, they could have at least made Bro Human or something. It made zero sense at all. I hope they bring him in. If they bring him into the next season, honestly, I might actually watch it like for real isn't the best because every single character talks like a redditor but the hate for this one exactly. started Scooby way better. before it even came out and i'm gonna give you one guess as to why that might be you'll you'll figure it out don't worry and a similar thing happened to crunchyroll's high guardian spice which had everyone been normal about would have just been like some average low budget show that people forgot about i've never week, seen this but made the fatal error of having a teaser trailer where they talk about how it's written by women we are 50 percent female in all the creative roles and our writer's room is 100 percent female ah dude you can you can hear the bold youtubers pissing themselves from over <laughs> here just looking this one up on youtube when i see stuff like that i don't really care to be honest okay and yeah i'm just gonna be like all right that wouldn't make me mad about the show I, I don't care he's gonna give you like five million different videos about how this show hates men and it's one of the worst shows ever made and then i watched an episode of it and it was like so fun <laughs> and please i'm not saying that there's nothing wrong with these shows okay because oh my god you bet there is but i don't know i feel like having an entire channel dedicated just to re-uploading clips of a show for people to shit on it is a bit much and yeah putting a cartoon network looking show on an anime streaming site was a choice but you can't tell me there was this much fuss made over some generic crunchy roll series with absolutely no underlying reason like come on guys go outside mm. uh, another one that people have really come around on is uncle grandpa like <laughs> grandpa <laughs> oh my god man uncle grandpa uncle grandpa look we can't even hate on like gen alpha kids for like you know what i'm saying brain rot severe brain rot whatever they got going on because there was really bro there was gen z kids watching fucking uncle grandpa I'm, I was one of those kids that was like, what the hell is this show? I'm not watching this. This is not healthy to watch. That was fire. Uncle Grandpa sucks. I've seen some people turn around though. Some people are like, you know, Uncle Grandpa wasn't as bad as we thought. <laughs> no, it, it was ba as bad as we thought. Okay, it, it was as bad as we thought. Okay. It was, bro, it was goaded. I mean, hey, if that's your prerogative, if you like the show growing up, you know, that's, that's your thing. But just off the cast, like one of the cast members was a fucking tiger, a PNG of a tiger. Like, look at this shit. What the hell is this? Why? <laughs> Why even add this? <sighs> I don't even remember this dude's name. I don't know who these people are. It's just, it's just odd. Early seasons are peak. Hey, if that's what y'all like, y'all like it. But I just knew I wasn't watching this as a kid because it's gonna give me some, some brain prolapse in the future. Like we're at the point now where people are like, wait, people hated Uncle Grandpa. What do you mean? Hop off my fucking goat, bro. All I heard about this show for ages was that it was like one of the worst things ever made. Pizza Steve. And I've seen videos from other YouTubers that say the same thing. So I know I'm not going insane, okay? And it only mm. took me watching no, you're the not first wrong. episode where not Uncle wrong. Grandpa shows up to some random kid's house and takes his shirt off. Uncle Grandpa taught me that Belly Brothers don't have to wear shirts. To figure out that the show's... This y'all goat? This y'all goat? I mean, Santa does the same thing though, right? 
Nah, that is crazy though. <laughs> Hold on, wait the f*** up. I don't remember this episode, okay? I don't remember that f***ing episode. Could you imagine like your parents walking in on you seeing that? Like seeing the kid talk about how he got his shirt taken off by Uncle Grandpa? sense of humor was the reason people hated it so much, but I think it was around the time of the great HBO Max purge of animated shows where only a single episode of Uncle Grandpa was the sole survivor. So, you know, maybe it was a case of people like not knowing how much they liked something until it was gone. It just really made me think of like how much of my perception of cartoons online had been shaped by like angry 15 year olds on the internet. Freaking stupid! I thought Steven Universe was like the shittiest thing it ever made until I actually watched it. And it's like so fine. Like, I mean, who would have thought that angry cartoon review wouldn't have been the best source of information. Teen Titans Go. What? More like Teen Titans Go to stupid things. Actually, I think Uncle Grandpa did a crossover with Steven Universe, which totally- What? Only is like a completely different show, so maybe the problem was that this- Bro, I'm so glad Steven Universe ended because their fan base was like- If Steven Universe was still going, their fan base would be like top number one weirdest fan bases of all time. Weirdest fan- Wait, wasn't one of the- f Wasn't a creator of this show a, a pedo? Or am I tripping? Or am I thinking of another show? Who was it? Which show? Oh, it was Clarence. I think it was Clarence. It was Clarence. It was Clarence. It was Clarence. My bad. My bad, Steven Universe creator. That's that's my bad. That's my bad. I might go whenever. Y'all really watched Steven Universe? I feel like it was just too weird for me. It wasn't appealing to me. I watched like, I think the first couple episodes and I stopped. This is just where a lot of people were exposed to it. Like just how had a bad Grandpa ending. exposes himself to small children. Speaking of small children, I just love that like people hate shows like Teen Titans Go or Thundercats because it replaced a series they really cared about from their childhood. But with Caillou, people just hate it because the kid is a fucking asshole. Annoying, bro. So annoying. Like this is why there's kids in the new generation that are just their minds are fucked up from watching Caillou. Their minds are completely altered from watching Caillou. You gotta think of a kid's mind. A kid's mind is stupid. A kid is sped. So they're gonna look at Caillou doing whatever he wants and be like, Hey, I can be like Caillou. I can do whatever I want and I'll be perfectly fine. And mommy and daddy won't care because my dad's a, a fucking low testosterone, no discipline, no, 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 child, no punishment type of dad. And my mom doesn't care either. <laughs> this is what happens when you make a bunch of really tired parents sit through a show about a bold dickhead who throws a tantrum every time things don't go his way. Mommy was yeah. sure Caillou would like his special dinosaur pancake. But Caillou, That's so low, Caillou barely even noticed. Did you take me to him? Take me to the son of a bitch! Take me to him! Come on! The universal <laughs> hatred for this child is one of the funniest things I have ever seen. Why is he bald? Does he have cancer or something? <laughs> Good. There is an entire- Wait, was it ever solved? Did Caillou have cancer? Like, was the theory true where, like, he was- He was living out his memories or whatever, and then he's, like, actually a child that has terminal cancer and is dying? <laughs> no? Damn it! That's upsetting. Reddit called Caillou Hate, dedicated to bullying that a fictional eight-year-old. Caillou is a despicable, spineless four-year-old boy who cannot do anything. But because he sucks, even his own body recognizes that he does not deserve help. Caillou's parents love her better because she is a better Maybe he'll die from his injuries. No point. You feel so bad. Sometimes though, all it takes for people to hate something is just for it to be really, really ugly. I would know. What is that? Gets a lot of shit because every single oh, character yeah. looks inbred. But I was like never sure if the show was actually bad. I remember. I think I watched the first season in like high school. I was like, all right, it's, it's not bad. It's it's it's, it's kind of funny. And then they went ahead and made like tw twenty f seasons. It's not twenty seasons. I don't know how many seasons of Big Mouth there is. Hold up, Tommy. It's you. Okay, let's get this straight. I do not look like a big mouth character look i'm gonna post this on youtube i want y'all to send me the exact character i look like i do not look like a single one of those little niggas all right i do not look like a single one of them there is seven seasons of a big mouth why why what, what do you have to talk about anymore i thought the show was about how joking about how kids going through puberty horniness and stuff max three seasons maybe seven 11 seasons of shit but i remember when i was I, I remember watching the first season i was like all right it's pretty funny when i was in high school i can't watch that shit now especially i don't know bro especially since, I, since i'm an adult now i'm like yeah some of these jokes is like bro i can't i i just can't look at that bro i don't know i can't look at it it's weird or if people were just like being prudes about the subject matter Haters but be the watching series the show? art style being an affront to my eyes has stopped a lot of people from getting into a show that's apparently a pretty thoughtful take on what it's like going through puberty. I wouldn't know though, because it only took me about five minutes of watching to feel like I belonged in prison. There's a show on Cartoon Network called Problem Solvers, which next to Velma was the undisputed Oh my champion. God. Who remembers Problem Solvers? Real ones remember Problem Solvers. What the hell was this show? Not this. 
what the hell? Like this, this, this is literally a fever dream. This show, Problem Solvers, is a fever dream. I don't remember a single episode. Episode. That's how much of a fever dream Problem Solvers were. And I'm pretty sure I watched a couple. I don't remember one. Tommy, that's you. Oh, here we go again. Yeah, because I look at like this dude, huh? I do not look like that guy. Of all of the what is the worst cartoon threads on Reddit, I'll, I'll give it some credit for trying to do something different, but I think a lot of people just uh, didn't vibe with it. It I mean, looks probably so because they were weird. too busy having a seizure. Oh, and then there was Angela Anaconda, and this one's for the Canadians, okay? After school, anytime Angela Anaconda was up next, I knew I only. It kind of looks like Mad. Y'all remember Mad? Mad was peak. I don't care what anybody says. Mad on Cartoon Network was peak seconds to grab the remote before I'd go permanently deaf. The reason this one is so hated isn't just because of its low frame rate or the fact that the whole show looks like a ransom note. It's actually because Angela was like mostly kept that contained was awesome. in Canada and Australia, but the exposure spread to America when Fox Kids wanted to cross promote this hit new show at the start of the fucking Digimon movie and force them to sit through an ad for it. Why are they dancing Stand like that? Battle, you pathetic Pukemon. <laughs> so Angela's legacy for most people is for ruining the Digimon movie and for this like 4chan green text where someone made up a story about how it made their parents divorce and honestly that's not even like the worst what? thing you could be remembered for like he could be johnny it just Tep. looks weird like johnny test no 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 wait 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 we're not hating on johnny test now hey diamond i like your videos man i've reacted to them a lot i am not taking the johnny test slander i will sit there if i'm if johnny test is only defended by one person in the world i am that person you can you cannot hate on Johnny Test. I'm I'm confused. Test, which is the other thing that Canada still has to apologize for. No, he's talking about the original. Know, like, the Teen Titans go of its time with how much Cartoon Network. Bro, what? Overplayed it. So like, yeah, it was popular, but no, they definitely. Yeah, it was. Okay, go going back to what I was talking about. They definitely overplayed it. Okay, they definitely overplayed the f out of Johnny Test. But it was peak. It was still peak. It was kind of like SpongeBob. SpongeBob is still peak, even though they that's all Nickelodeon plays because that's the last thing they have before they're done for, before they have to shut down. But yeah, it was, it's, it's still peak. Overplaying doesn't really, it doesn't really affect a show. Maybe music. Because with shows, there's like so many episodes you could watch, I feel like. With music, it could happen. With like a song, a single song, yeah, you can get tired of it. Popular, but all I've ever heard people say about Johnny Test is that their sound design guy had a single MP3 file and- Oh, uh, the- no, the whip crack was crazy. The- who are, <laughs> They played the whip crack like literally every second. <laughs> Oh my god, there must have, they, they must have been averaging about like a hundred whip cracks per minute or something like that. Could you imagine like every time I use one of the sound effects here, like every time I talk, I'm just like, after every sense ends, I just go. Like, all right guys, let's get back to the video. Oh wait, before I do that, let me, let me keep talking about Johnny Test, like affecting like how, how amazing, like I just kept playing the fucking sound effect. That shit will be so annoying. This is his 100th episode since you sprayed him with your fairy tales. Look at this! Oh my! 100 episodes. Dude, it takes a lot to dethrone the laugh track. Damn, bro! Holy shit! Relax! They're taking us back. From the Big Bang Theory, but they genuinely play a whip crack sound every time a character moves. Because I guess someone left a mic on while they were beating the animators. I watched a YouTuber called Your Bud Tevin do a drinking game where he took a shot every time they oh used my the God. sound. And he already downed five before they even made it 15 seconds in. I think he got up to like 200 sips. And what? Did he not die? 227 drinks? And it was that many? Honestly, this is like probably the least I've done in episode two. Imagine he did one like with the maximum amount. Eastern Europe, not he good? <sighs> God damn, I know, I know he threw up like boatloads after that. At the end of a 20 minute episode, how is that man still alive? Johnny has not had 100 episodes. <laughs> Can I be honest for a second? This is the worst f***ing idea I've ever had. <laughs> it's all good though, because Canada also gave us total drama, so we're cool. We don't have to talk about total drama-rama, okay? Anyway, I think the lesson- I'm gonna go ahead and rewind that. What the f*** was that? Hold up, hold up. What the f*** did I just drama, look at? So we're cool. We don't have to talk about Total Drama Rama. Okay. Don't tell me that's Owen. Don't tell me that's Owen. Not my goal, Owen. No, 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 bro. You know Owen would never do that. You know, this is an abomination to the human race. This show should have been eradicated from the start. That's weird, especially really thinking of it. They drew, it was grown people animating kids farting and sniffing other kids farts. That's pretty weird. It's very weird.
Anyway, I think the lesson that we've learned here today is that's that not really Owen. Who is that? I don't know. It looks like Owen. Don't have to get that mad about cartoons, okay, guys? Unless it's about Mega Mind 2. That's totally different, okay? Ugh. Don't forget to check out the sponsor of this. Thank you, man. Hey, you guys, go subscribe to Diamond Bolt if you haven't. This is a great video, man. This is an amazing video. So, yeah, um, <clears throat> hopefully, I'm just really hoping for the Velma. Like, I'm praying that Velma reboot does not f come out, all right? Is there any more that he missed? Y'all think there's any he missed? Hold on, let me search it up real quick. Okay, Camp Coral, this was on here. Power, this was on there. Nah, Fanboy and Chum Chum, really? I will say, if, if there was one Fanboy and Chum Chum fan, it is me. I don't care. What else is there? Planet Sheen was ass. Okay, yeah, Planet Sheen was ass. Planet Sheen was ass. Mid boy, mid mid, mid. Oh my god, y'all are just hating. You don't, you, you have no idea the effect fanboy and chum chum had. You have no idea. Breadwinner has never seen it. The Boom Crew is this supposed to be? They made a, re a reboot to the Prowl family. Never seen that. The Nut Shack. I just remember the meme from like a couple years ago. Okay, we saw this. He mostly got everything. So, um, yeah, anyways, if you're watching this on the tube, join the Discord.